see a game I really wanted to play. This yeah, this one I saw someone play the trailer of it, and it looked really freaking fun. Logging in user. Okay, it's our computer. Yeah! Oh, wow. Discord! Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We're pleased to have you aboard as our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder slash role. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily and ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. All right. Attention call team, due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our video archive appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these. Uh, they will be cleared up in due time. Ooh, we can get a little bit of juicy details. How do I start? Monday. I love the aesthetic of this. I love this. Welcome employee. To begin shift, please clock in below. I've always wanted to do this, the little clock in, like, tick, tick. I thought that would be so cool. Okay, so here we go. So here are our entries, right? So I saw the, the demo of this, so let me let me run it down for you. We have these entries, and we read about these. We're going to get phone calls, and they're going to be like, oh, I have this problem, and I'm hearing this, and I see this. And then we have to go, go through these articles and be like... We have to go through these articles and um, basically tell them, oh, you have cockroaches. Oh, you have dried doo-doo stains. Like, stuff like that. Oh. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. We're going to do so well. All right. All right, so let's see. We got stuff like roaches to worry about, gophers, housefly. Anna, here's the spider photo. House spider. Oh, wow, that's a weird one. Mice, mole. So these are all very mundane, but do you guys see how many entry inaccessible there are? Like, this gets weird. This gets deep. It's not just normal stuff. This gets into, like, entities and all these bad ones, like demons. Oh. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. This number? It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coffee to me. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. Yes. Okay. So, wife keeps telling me. I don't think there's a timer either, hopefully. Please hold. <laughs> Please hold. Specks of dirt in the kitchen looks like coffee. Would it be ticks? No. I, is it roaches? I think roaches. Also, yes, raccoon is here. <laughs> Raccoons are capable of biting humans and spreading deadly diseases such as rabies. Aww. What's the, what's, the, what's the solution? The solution is not harming them, at least. I think it's cockroaches. Let's see. Cockroaches are small insects known to be common household pets. Homer reports saying droppings that are similar to coffee grounds i think you have roaches bro cockroaches are no immediate danger to humans but are known disease carriers they frequently inhabit kitchens and other areas there we go in the kitchen to use to prepare food increasing the risk of disease cockroaches are resilient fast breeders and notoriously difficult to remove the use of cockroach specific pesticides that are deadly to humans is not recommended it is advised to utilize hsh's pest removal service you have roaches, my dude. Cover up that food, my boy. Uh, you got... Oh my gosh. Roaches. Roaches. I... Cockroaches. You're welcome. Info successfully sent to... So what is the... Oh, that's their poop. Got it. 
All right, see, look at that, one and done. It's basically what we're doing. Carpenter ants, I don't think I've ever dealt with carpenter ants personally. Never dealt with gophers. We have uh, wolf spiders here. Wolf spiders are a big thing here. Okay, okay, okay. Hello? Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, ee, 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 you know, it, it's probably Crickets? nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. Do you got Please crickets? Hold. Please hold. Oh. Yeah, but this is for gardens. Okay. Uh, termites? No. Ticks? No, ticks would not make those noises. Mice? It could be mice? Cockroaches don't make those noise. Black mold doesn't make those noises. I think she's got mice. House fly, house spiders don't make those noises. Moles don't go there. Raccoons aren't there. Um, let's see. Mice are small, worth worthless. Worthless is so mean. That's such a mean thing to say. Commonly found in the household, homeowners with mice infestation are commonly report gnaw marks, small round droppings, and sound of squeaking. Carrying diseases. Yeah, bro, you got mice. Sorry. My grandma, her sister had a mice issue. That was that was bad. That was bad. You got mice. Uh mole. Is this ABC order? It is. So meh. Another one done in the books. Hate when my black mole just screams bloody murder in the middle of the night. <laughs> I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is so I can take care of it once and for all. Giant, please hold. <laughs> Giant raccoons be duking it up. <laughs> I mean, go first. Is it like piles of crap or piles of dirt? Okay, let's look at. I, I don't think it said that raccoons take huge dookies, guys. I don't know. Gray, known for the tendency to rummage through garbage cans, nest and eggs, homeowners and infested. It just says frequent garbage spills and clattering sounds at night. Guys, I don't think it's raccoons. The piles of brown are not from the raccoons. Additionally, their feces contain deadly parasites. If accidentally in inhaled or ingested, who's accidentally ingesting some raccoon brown? Can cause progressive neurological damage to humans. Um, I mean, this has poop in its little thing. Let's see. Uh, is it? Would it be like a mole? Like, they're just, like, digging up dirt? Moles are small, dark brown furry animals. Pointed pink muzzles that are known for living in deep burrows. Their burrows tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's the volcano-shaped mounds. Moles are capable of biting humans and spreading diseases. Mmm. Mole sounds more of it. What about gopher? Go for small brown furry animals with the large front teeth that are known for living in burrows. They become pests and homeless when they choose to burrow in them properly. Alright, we're gonna go with Mole. Mole has a- Yeah, the volcano shaped mounds might be the right answer. Sarah, you got a mole. Imagine- okay. I found this on the web for you got a mole. Siri, Siri, please, Siri, no. Siri, let's- let's not Siri, okay? All right, good. Another call immediately. Is this our is this our job person? Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past forty-five to ninety minutes. Running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. Okay. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. I needed that. There's people who prank call 911. I think they're mentally insane. Ain't no way you're prank calling 911. There we go. I'm ready. Hit me with something. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Wait a minute. I'm sub. I'm. Wait, hold on. What? I am. We don't have anything to provide you. What are you on about? This is a freaking home, whatever, HSH responder. I'm not your freaking lawn mowing service. Okay, looking for. Okay, my kid complaining about. Okay. Wait, my kid is complaining about being too sick. Oh. Can you send some guys to get this Please done? Hold. What am I sending? A lawnmower? We don't even have, like, goats or anything that we can help with. Ticks, termites, what am I going to send this to? Um. Ooh. Actually, I could send him termites. Termites are... Wait, I, I don't send him termites. What if I send, is there like a solution where it's about like cutting grass? Fungal cleanup. Okay, th that's not gonna help. Uh, pest removal. I'm about to send you some pest removal and remove your freaking son for not doing this. How about that? Professionals termite service removal. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Although you can remove ticks, ticks once they have invaded your home with common pesticides, it is too late to prevent any diseases that may have transmitted. Instead, prevent ticks from entering your household in the first place by treating the surrounding area, keeping a tidy, weed-free lawn. That's close enough. Bro, you got ticks. I, I don't... You got big grass and ticks. You gotta clean that up. Ticks suck. I've went, my grandparents live in the middle of the woods, and when we go behind their property and to go find the, like, the creek, oh my gosh, we at least get, like, six ticks on us every time we step in there. We did, accuracy 100%! Accuracy 100%? No way! I was not expecting that.